Hey everybody, welcome to Everyday Journey. Today we're looking at my newest project. Um, here is our linear actuator from the treadmill. If you watch the other videos, there will be a link in the description for it. Um, you can check that out. Um, but I've got it wired up to the Arduino, and again, that's in the other video too. Um, and we've got everything hooked up now. I've taken the, the parts for the, uh, the frame of the treadmill, and I've actually cut them up. And you can watch here at the end of the video to see roughly how I did that. Um, I won't bore you with it right in the very beginning, um, but let's get to the nitty gritty. So what I did is I programmed the Arduino so that when this reaches the top, um, it's actually going to stop it. And let me go ahead and show you that right now. So we go, we've got this on a, uh, a two-way switch, <coughs> and hang on, let's go ahead and plug it in first. So you can hear there that it's clicking, and it's clicking back and forth, on and off. And that's because it's already at the top. Um, as soon as we go beyond a certain point, the Arduino will realize that... Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> there we go. So right now it's not clicking on and off, it's just staying on. Um, and that's just a safety feature, that's part of, the, uh, part of the potentiometer in there that lets it know whenever it's gotten to the top. Um, it's also got it programmed to whenever it's got going to the bottom. Since I only have one relay, we're instead of limiting it from going any further, we're actually just stopping it momentarily and then it clicks on for about a second or so or half a second so that you can get it back out of that that top or bottom part um, so that stopping right there should let you know that you've reached the top or bottom um, currently since I had to cut this down some so that we could put this on here um, we can't go all the way to the top so you'll see there's a little bit of a gap right here in the corkscrew there um, that allows it not to go to the top but as soon as we reach that point and we'll go ahead and do that now then it stops and it only clicks on every second or so and you hear it right now it's clicking on and off on and off that's allowing you so you know that it's it's reached its top point um, but allowing you to still get it out of that so there it's only kicking off for a second kicking off for a second and now it will continue to go on so that's the way we wired it up let's see what it actually does so the only thing I've got this on here is for a, a handle just to keep this from spinning because um, if it didn't spin it wouldn't go raise up and down it would and as you can see here it'll just go with it so normally you would see that connected to the sides on any other kind of press um, but that's what we've got here is a press so let's see what it does So, go ahead and bend that, keep it straight underneath this. And that's as much power as it actually has. This thing is, let's see what the rating is on this. So the motor itself looks like it says 1 12th horsepower. So it's not really that strong. Um, it does have a 500 pound thrust rating on it. That's what it says. But as we can see, it completely crushed that can. I mean, that's, that's pretty flat. So can't really complain about that. <clears throat> I wanted to check out too what it would do on a bottle. We've got the cap on it, so uh, let's hope we can keep it all together here and see what happens.
holy cow. I mean that's with the cap on it and completely flattened it. I'm not exactly sure where the uh, where the air leaked out at, but I was expecting it really to pop. <laughs> anticlimactic there. Uh, I think the plate itself probably probably pierced a hole in it a little bit and that's what let it out so let's see if we can find something else to crush with this thing. And this is just a, uh, a medicine bottle. We'll put our plate back on it See what she does. Found it. You see right here, it completely blew out the side. So that's interesting. Well, here's a spring. Let's let's see how. This is a pretty strong spring. I mean, I can't compress it at all with my hands. This came out of the uh, the chair that I took apart so that I could fix the office chair to get out so I could uh, fix the uh, the Harbor Freight and as you can see there it's compressing it this is possibly dangerous that looks like it's compressed all the way so 500 pounds I believe that. I mean, 500 pounds is not a lot, but especially not when it comes to presses. Well, let's see what else we can find. We're going to see if we can't crush this used oil filter. Let's see what happens to it. can't flip it over try it on the side that's a little more flat it's still going but I think that's all it wants to do can we see that there I mean it crushed in the top pretty well so you know you could probably use this thing as a punch or something like that I don't know it's been an interesting project here. Um, things I've learned along the way is one, this is probably not really rated for doing pressing, um, pressing things, um, but it does work. Uh, it is a little bit there. It definitely needs something to keep it in line here so that it all presses down where it's supposed to instead of having to hold it in place because this rocks back and forth here because um, it's just hanging up here. So that's not ideal. Um, other things I've learned too is that it, we probably really need two relays, um, two transistors, and wire it up on two different two different uh, outputs so that it will actually so that you can limit the up and down and completely turn it off without having to put that pause in there like I've got. Let's see again whenever it goes to the top. The, uh, the pause, it just pauses to let you know. There's no, uh, there's nothing to keep it from continuing to go, um, but it pauses to let you know, hey, you've reached the top. Gives you opportunity to go ahead and switch it back the other way. And there you go, the pause, but you can hear the relay clicking on and off. That's giving you the opportunity to go ahead and move it back out of that, that, you know, that limited area. So once you do move it out of there, the relay stays on and you can go ahead and move it either way. So there's our pause, pauses again because we're not out of the, the zone yet, but now we are so it stays on. So um, <clears throat> it's been interesting to, uh, to learn how to do the Arduino. Uh, been confusing and been, uh, it, it's been a learning process, um, but it's been fun and it definitely let me know what we can do. 
I uh, appreciate you guys watching. As you can see, we got a working prototype here. Um, give me some uh, suggestions on what what else you think could be done with this. Um, I've been racking my head about what all I could do with it. Um, I've got a little bit of time into this, but it's you know we could we could expand on this. I knew it wasn't going to be all that strong of a motor, um, so using the frame from the from the treadmill worked out okay. This stuff is pretty thin, so it really wouldn't have worked out too much. I could actually see it flexing here on this square tubing um, whenever this goes down and presses on it. So, you know, it couldn't do that much, but um, this thing has got tons of different uses for it, I'm sure. Um, just let me know what you think we could do with it. Um, leave it in the comments, and uh, we'll see what else we can do with it. Um, if you want to see me crush anything else with this, leave those too. Just remember, I don't have, a, I've got a limited space here to be able to put anything in. Um, didn't really think of that ahead of time. Of course, this thing doesn't have that much travel to it anyway, so you really couldn't go too much further anyway without putting some blocks and bracing and stuff like that underneath whatever it is you were putting in there. So, um, I definitely appreciate you guys watching. If you want to see how I made this, just watch right here after this. It'll, it'll, uh, it'll be the end of the video here. And uh, hopefully you guys liked it. Uh, we'll try to find another project here with this Arduino in the near future and uh, You want to see how it's how this is programmed. I've got that here on the screen, but anyway definitely appreciate you guys watching Send some comments my way and uh, Like and share and all that good stuff. So y'all take care